This video will show you how to find articles in the John Abbott College Library databases. The first thing you do is you go to a web browser and you enter www.johnabbott.qc.ca to open up the John Abbott College external website. You click on Library on the right side to go to our library homepage. It will open up a new tab. You're not going to be searching for books, ebooks, or films. You want to find articles. Therefore, you do not type anything in the keyword box at the top. You're going to go instead to Search for Articles link and click on that. You could do this off campus or on campus. If you are off campus, before you click on Search for Articles, you are going to see a login page. That page will ask you to identify yourself with your student ID or staff ID. You type it in and you click on login. And then when you click search for articles, what will happen is you actually see this page here. You also see this automatically if you are on campus. We have many different databases of articles and we have ones in English and in French. Put your mouse over the magnifying glass to see what's inside each database. The first two are interdisciplinary. They cover both academic articles in humanities, social science, and sciences. ProQuest is a Canadian articles database. Sinal is for nursing. We're going to give an example in this demo of cyberbullying. So we could find articles in social sciences in either of the first two databases. We'll choose Academic Search Complete for this demonstration. So we're opened up that database. And just as in Google, you can type in your search terms, cyberbullying, or you can spell it as two words. So you put capital O, capital R, space, and then open quotation mark for a multi-term search term, cyberbullying. So it will pick up both spellings of this concept. So you can click on search. Just remember that if you're going to put synonyms for a concept, put it in capital letters OR, then click search, and you find 1,387 references to articles in this database on cyberbullying. Not all of these 1,387 are available online for you to read. What you want to do is go to the left, limit to full text, and it will re reduce it to the set of only those articles that you can actually read. At this point also, you might want to limit it to the recent research, let's say the last five years, 2011 to 2015. That will further reduce the set down to 561. You have an additional choices for other filters, the type of article, whether it's an academic journal, a magazine, a book review, and so on. Let's find academic journal articles, more academic in content. So now it's down to 278 results. These are listed in the same way as Google and other search engines in relevance order. So generally, the ones at the top are going to be the most highly relevant. So cyberbullying, you see, is in the title of this uh, article. And then we have below that the authors of the article, the journal, Cyber Psychology, the year, 2014, the volume and issue, and the pages of the journal. That's what's called the citation. Below that, we have the subjects. What is this article about? Well, it's about cyberbullying, computer crimes, and so on and so on. If you like that article and you want to get more information, all you do is you click on the title. You see the same information we saw before, but we also see something called an abstract. An abstract is usually between 50 and 100 words, and it's a summary of what the article is all about. What do they want to do? How do they do it? What did they find? And what was their conclusion? If it's still of interest to you, and you want to read the whole article, you click on PDF full text. And it will display it on the screen. There's the first page of the article. At this point, you can save an article by clicking on this icon here. Or, if you wish, you can print using this icon here. 
At this point, you can email it by clicking on the second icon on the right and entering your email address. You can also generate a citation for this article by clicking on the fourth icon below. And there's the citation for American Psychological Association, APA format.